If you're in the marketing agency business, currently when you hear Twitter, you don't really think too much about it, but Twitter is still a relevant platform and they're making a bunch of changes to make sure that they remain relevant in the future. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some updates that Twitter is bringing to uploading images to their platform on desktop. So stay tuned and we're gonna cover those. All right, welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me. My name is Jordan Steen, also known as Serial Entrepreneur and at this channel, we talk all about starting a marketing agency, building your personal brand, or really just building any kind of online business. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell in the bottom right hand corner of this video so that way you get updated with all of our newest videos, content, free trainings that we give away, free courses that we give away, all of the cool stuff we do here at my channel. Now again, Twitter has actually updated, or at least they say they've updated a feature on desktop, which allows you to actually go in like you can on mobile and resize, crop your images, add filters to them, and really just make your images look better inside of Twitter, right? You can currently do this on the mobile version, but they didn't have it on desktop, which was hard for advertisers and people who wanted to take advantage of those features when they were uploading at work on desktop or something like that. So we're gonna cover these features, but I do want to caution you because as I went in, this fe this update came out in early February, and as I went into Twitter to actually go in and try the update myself, I wasn't able to edit the photos on desktop. But I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about and where these features should be because it was released by Twitter about a couple of weeks ago now. So you should be able to use them. So I want you guys to let me know. Once we go through this, I want you to leave a comment and let me know if you see it on your desktop version as well, or if you don't. Because if you guys see it, I wanna know why I can't see it. So make sure to leave a comment below and let me know later. Oh, and P.S., for those of you that are in the marketing agency world, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you a cool document on how to get more clients for your agency. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I have my phone up on the right-hand side over here and then I have the desktop version up over here. If you go in to upload a photo, you can see right here, this is a photo I selected just in my phone. If I select edit right here, it's gonna take me in to actually edit that photo so I can add filters. I can also write below the bottom here, you guys, if you're familiar with Twitter right below this section you can't see it because of my banner but right below there it's where you can select whether you want to add graphics if you want to crop um, or if you want to tilt the image you guys can see me going through those as I click it um, but let me get it back to normal angle and then if I go um, and I, that's where I want to leave it I can apply you can see the zoom and apply that scale right there I can add different filters I can crop it and I can flip it right so that's how it is on mobile if I want to edit it but the issue is when I click a photo to select and you can see I have a couple in here that I've tried to do it with it won't actually allow you to edit it even if I click on the photo there's supposed to be an option right here in the bottom right hand corner or somewhere over here that's the paintbrush like there is on mobile but obviously that's not showing so I'm really interested to know if you guys have that ability to do it on your desktop version because this is an update that Twitter has already rolled out and is supposed to be going but I can't actually see it on my desktop so you guys let me know if twitter's being honest here leave it in the comments below if it's working for you or not um so that way we can uh hold them accountable and maybe i can send them a message and say hey i'm not actually having access to this feature so really quickly do you guys feel like this would be a useful update if it was actually working do you think it's something that you would take advantage of do you use twitter enough for this advantage or for this uh, type of update to be advantageous for you or not leave it in the comments below i'd also like to know that so unfortunately again twitter over the last few years has had a decline in their user base and not to mention just their relevance as far as a social platform is concerned really their ad platform isn't the best when you compare it to instagram and Facebook and the conversion rates that you have on those platforms. So really the question is, do you think Twitter is relevant or even something that's useful for you? I mean, the trend is showing that Twitter is putting in a lot of work and a lot of time and effort into their platform to make it a better social platform and something that would be used more for engaging with 
uh, social response. So maybe asking asking if they think something is worth it to you or not. Should we make this type of change in maybe our nation or not? You know, local polling and national polling to get responses from people about what they think about specific topics. And in the future, they're even planning on adding in profile image cropping and editing as well, I believe on the desktop platform because I'm pretty sure you can already do this on mobile. Pretty much a lot of the features that they have already included on mobile, they're adding over to desktop to make it a more you know user-friendly type of platform as far as being on an actual computer. Oh, and if you're wanting to learn more about starting a marketing agency, because we've mentioned it several times, obviously, in this video, and really using some of the social platforms like Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, or even email, SEO, all of that, if you're wanting to learn more about any of these topics, then make sure you head on over and check out this video where we talk about everything that we include inside of our digital marketing agency course. So to wrap it all up, yes, these updates are very minor. And when you compare them to, th to platforms like Facebook and Instagram, they don't really seem like they're making many changes, but it all goes to their bottom line of trying to make it a more engaging platform with, regarding to, or with regards to responding to topics that are trending right now and getting people engaged with those topics and their thoughts on those topics. So personally, I think by the end of 2019 or even by the end of 2020, Twitter could have a platform that is more relevant, but it is gonna take a huge shift in the way that their user base actually engages with their platform. But that's it for today's video. Since you stayed till the end, all you have to do is check out this video on the top right-hand corner on creating your marketing audit that we've put together for you guys. It's gonna help you get clients for your marketing agency, hands down, like one of the best tools out there to use to get clients. And I can prove that just by go, go look at any of the comments on any of our videos about our marketing audit, and you'll see that it works. But that's it from you guys. I'm gonna get out of here, and I will see you guys on the next Digital Marketing News Today update. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Ready to start living the six-figure, work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.